And welcome back. Let's head to the National Stadium where Jamaica's Reggae Boys and Costa Rica were nil all in late first half action in their CONCACAF World Cup qualifying match. Our reporter Simon Preston is on location and joins us with the very latest from the office. Thank you very much, Jermaine. Currently, the score is locked at nil all in a game that Jamaica must win in order to keep their slim hopes alive of qualifying for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. This is the fourth home game out of five without spectators in the stands. The Reggae Boys, they've made three changes from the team that lost 3-2 to Panama in Panama City on Sunday. In comes Andre Gray, Richard King and Greg Lee and Corey Burke, Daniel Johnson and Kemar Taxi Lawrence exit from this game. So Jamaica going with a 3-5-2 formation for this encounter and have looked good defensively, especially with Richard King in his first start in the World Cup qualifiers and also Ethan Pinnock, the Brentford FC defender in the English Premier League. From the attacking perspective, Ravel Morrison and Bobby Reid, who are celebrating their 29th birthday today. They both had shots on target, but Kaylor Navas has been there to deny the Jamaicans. The Costa Ricans, they have offered very little attacking-wise. Joel Campbell has been kept quiet by Richard King. And just a reminder of the permutations, not only does Jamaica need to win this evening against Costa Rica, but Panama also has to lose to Mexico at the Azteca at 10 o'clock so that Jamaica can keep their hopes alive of qualifying for the World Cup. Not only that, Jamaica will also need to win their remaining three games in March and Panama must not pick up a single point in those remaining three games. So, as it stands from the National Stadium, it is still nil all between Jamaica and Costa Rica. If it remains this way and a Panama victory in, in Mexico this evening, then Jamaica will have to be turning their attention to the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifying campaign. Jamaica, they're searching for their first win in the final round of the CONCACAF World Cup qualifiers since February 28, 2001, just three weeks shy of 21 years ago. Reporting from the National Stadium, I'm Simon Preston for TVJ Sports. Jermaine, it's over to you. Thanks, Simon. Well, quite a daunting task there for uh, the Reggae Boys. Meanwhile, Reggae Boy defender Liam Moore has been loaned to Stoke City FC from Reading FC in the English Championship in a swap deal. Moore has been loaned out to Stoke until the end of uh, the 2021-2022 season in a deal which sees forward Tom Ince leaving Stoke City on loan for Reading for the same time period. Moore, who was a part of the Reggae Boys team uh, for the World Cup qualifier against Mexico at the National Stadium last week Thursday, returned to England from international duties over the weekend and was in Stoke on Tuesday to put pen to paper on the loan deal. Moore, who turned 29 on Monday, has played 216 times for Reading, scoring eight uh, uh, times.